Now, there are renewed concerns this evening about infrastructural safety in schools. This after a student from a St. Andrew-based primary school fell two stories from a building. Sandy Williams has details. A counseling session in full swing at the Windward Road Primary School Wednesday afternoon. This after the unthinkable happened. I'm at the Windward Road Primary School where a grade 4 student fell from the second floor of the school building. Now his teacher, Courtney Edwards, says the students were just about to take their lunch break. They were heading towards the talk shop to fetch their lunches. And of course, um, he, of, well, he was, I'm told, sliding on the stairs on the rail and he fell over. Tanisha Peters Montague is the principal. We are trying to get to the police, the ambulance service, medical center, firefighter. We tried to get to everybody. Um, it was afterwards about 20 minutes or so when two ambulance services came on the scene. The police came before and um, he was taken to the hospital. Staff and students who witnessed the incident are traumatized. The class is just um, not in their right frame of mind as we speak. We had counseling this morning and um, they are there now just um, all very emotional. I cried earlier, you know. I cried because we do have a situation in schools now, a challenge where as it relates to behavior, we are, our hands are tied when it comes to behavior. And as we speak, it is a demonstration that um, that is at play as well because um, on a normal day, the kids would have been walking down quite um, orderly. But today, he chose not to walk with the other kids, but in fact, went on the rail trying to pass other students. So, a very unfortunate situation. The child is in hospital in stable condition. The incident has sparked concerns about infrastructural safety in schools. Previously, the first and second floors of the school were designated for junior high school students. It's one of the reasons why they are not fully grilled, as it was felt it did not present a danger to older students. However, the institution has transitioned to primary education only. This is part of efforts by the Ministry of Education to phase out junior high schools. We will have to refocus, look at what happened and see how best we can provide additional security for our students. Sandy Williams, TVJ News.